Three-year-old Elsie Mahi, who her family called Sweet Girl, fought for her life for a week before doctors said there was nothing else they could do. Her father, Reno Mahi, a former NFL running back, confirming Elsie was found tangled in a mini blind at home with cords wrapped around her neck. The accident tragic, but not uncommon. He was special. Cyrus O'Brien lost his five-year-old son, Gavin, when he was found hanging from the cords of a Roman blind. I kept on yelling his name because I wanted him to hear me so he, so he could come back. According to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, nearly one child a month is strangled to death by cords hanging from blinds, one of the top five hidden dangers inside the home. If this story reaches one family that didn't know about this hazard, and if it saves one life, then it's worth it. A known hazard for decades, the Safety Commission began the process to create new standards two years ago. Facing pressure, the industry group now proposing all stock products be required to be cordless or have inaccessible or short cords. Several major retailers have already stopped selling corded blinds. Safety groups recommend parents use cordless blinds. For those that don't have that option, manufacturers will give you a retrofit kit like this, which can be installed in a matter of minutes. For the Mahi family and the O'Briens, proposed changes in how blinds are made comes too late. But for many others, there is still time. Miguel Almaguer, NBC News. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.